There's so many dandelions everywhere, I just felt the urge to burn some of them. But then I felt inspired to do some macro fire photography. Thought I'd show you a couple tips really quick on how to take some really close up fire pictures. The camera setup I'm gonna be using is the Canon 60 Mark II, this 50 millimeter lens. And to make this 50 millimeter lens into a macro lens, I have a macro lens filter. This just screws on the end of your lens and allows your lens to now focus way closer than it was before. It could focus like out here before and now it can focus like a few inches away. So we can get some great macro pictures just with this. And this lens attachment, they're really cheap. You can pick them up on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description below. And then lastly, I like to shoot with my lens hood on just to avoid any light flares bouncing into the lens. I'm gonna set up a black background here. Then I'm gonna put this weight in just because I need to get my subject up off the ground. Get my camera set up and then I'm gonna set up two lights off to either side of the dandelion here. So I create kind of a triangle with my two lights and my camera and the dandelion in the middle. I usually find that light doesn't look very good when it's coming from the direction of the camera. I like to set my lights off to the side at like either a 90 degree angle from the lens or even a little shallower of an angle so that the light actually is shining through my subject into the lens and it's bringing that light in instead of reflecting the light off of my subject. And it especially works good in this scenario because that way I'm not um, illuminating my dark background with any of the lights. All that light is coming this direction. When you're taking macro photos, the closer you bring your subject to the lens of your camera, the shallower the depth of field gets. And in this case scenario, our depth of field is so shallow that actually nothing is in focus. So we're gonna have to compensate by closing our aperture. The drawbacks of closing the aperture is that it makes the picture darker. So we have to compensate for that by turning up the ISO. The drawbacks of turning up the ISO is that it makes our picture more grainy. So that is why I have so many lights here so that we can keep the ISO down as much as possible. All right, it's time to light this thing up. While we're at it, I figured I'd take a picture of an actual match lighting on fire. See how that looks up close. One thing I'm not trying to do when I'm on a photo shoot like this is get the perfect shot in one take. A lot of times I'll take a whole bunch of pictures and just hope for good stuff in each picture and then I'll take maybe the best three and combine them together in Photoshop. The dandelion picture actually turned out pretty good. The match photo was a bit more difficult, so I ended up with three different pictures. Two of them had great smoke, and then the third picture had a nice flame. So I dropped all three of those into Photoshop, then I set the top two pictures to light mode. This basically just deletes everything that's dark and keeps what's bright. And that was it on the editing as far as combining those pictures together. Then you can export it. Obviously I tinkered with the colors just cause I, I don't know why I just felt like turning it pink. Just cause I thought it looked a bit cooler. Well that was a really short photo shoot, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you maybe picked up a few tips for shooting macro. Go watch some other photo inspirational videos right here. Have a great day guys. Go on a photo shoot, have some fun, and I'll see you next time.